Eyes are one of the first things we notice about someone, but what about when things go wrong with the eye? It, it kind of helps to understand what's going on. We know that the, the iris, most of us do, that's the pigmented part, like if you have blue eyes or brown eyes, and that's going to capture light. And then the pupil is where the light passes through. So a beam of light coming, it's going to hit that cornea first. And the cornea is clear. It grows so fast. If you scratch your eye and your vision is kind of blurry, 20 minutes later, you can usually see again. That's how fast the cornea grows. We have two liquid chambers, the aqueous humor here, the vitreous back here. You might think, well, who cares? But let's say you're going downhill on a bike real fast. You don't want your eye to just collapse. So we have these fluid filled chambers to kind of maintain the shape. There's iris I talked about, if you have blue or brown eyes. There's a pupil where the light goes through the lens. And then all the way through the vitreous to the back, the macula. And I'll talk about the problems with the macula in just a bit. And here it is, the macula degeneration. Here's the macula. What happens in the wet form of this is blood vessels, a cluster of them, are immature or they're uh, underdeveloped or for whatever reason they're leaking and they break and this is causing uh, problems with the central vision acuity because if you remember the center part of what we're looking at is going to be focused right on this macula lutea. Now there is a dry form of it that's a lot slower and it's due to this drusen that deposited. So what I'm talking about is more serious, the wet. You want to know how it looks? There's an advanced form of it where the central aspect of whatever we're looking at becomes darkened. Uh, that's not a good thing to see. Cataracts, if you ever had a dog that for a long period of time, you often see one eye get kind of milky looking. And that's the lens, if you remember. The lens can be damaged just over time, age, injury, sunlight. Okay, we often forget the sunglasses will prevent ultraviolet radiation from penetrating deep into the lens and causing pits and hardening that lens over time. Protein deficiency is pretty rare in developed countries. Have you ever been to an eye doctor and a little device has helped your eye and then click, a sudden little push of air? Well, that's done to test glaucoma because your eye is like a beach ball. If it bounces back nicely, then we have a normal eye. If the device hits the cornea and there's almost no reflex, no bouncing, then that's an early sign of glaucoma. Internal pressure in the vitreous. It happens for different reasons. Hypertension like, is one, but commonly this trabecular, if you look at this is the cornea, the aqueous humor, and this is where, I don't know, around 80 to 90 percent of the fluid from the vitreous is going to flow out of here. And so if the trabecular network is shrinking, underdeveloped, and this happens with age, then we're going to have buildup of fluids in the eye. And over time, that pressure is going to damage the optic nerve. So one of the problems of this is asymptomatic. We often don't know that we have glaucoma unless we go to the doctor. Good reason to go get your checkup every year. All right, here's the normal eye, and I, I talked about the cornea, aqueous humor. There's iris. There's that lens. Think of cataracts. Vitreous humor back here, the lutea. Black and white vision in the retina back here color vision and acuity here in the macula lutea of the retina. Well, what if you have kind of a short eye, you were born with it? That means you have hyperopia because the image is focused from the lens past the retina, past the macula. All right, and glasses will, will take care of that. Presbyopia is kind of similar, but what happens in this case is this lens is supposed to be flexible. Okay, it's almost like a gel. And you have ciliary muscles that are going to pull on the lens. And for a combination, like I'm looking far, oh, now I'm looking near. Okay, it stretches this. But in presbyopia, that lens is getting hard. Uh, and uh, that is often age-related as well. Myopia, nearsighted. Sometimes people think, does that mean I can't read something close by? No, no, no. It just means that your eye is really long. You have a long eyeball. And who cares? Because... There are glasses that easily correct for myopia or nearsightedness. Stigmatism, also really not very severe. There's a little irregularity in the cornea. Remember the cornea out here, that fast-growing tissue? 
a little wave right there is enough to throw off the uh, refraction here and uh, glasses correct that as well oh this is not so simple because we have diabetic retinopathy if a patient has uh, diabetes then they are at risk at this because what happens is there's blood uh, uh, sugars or glucose in the bloodstream but because of the insulin imbalance some of that uh, glucose sugar is not reaching the cells and so the, the retina which is the pigmented back of the eye there's a macula by the way and it, it starts to die and over time uh, vision is lost so a very good reason for someone who has diabetes to closely monitor their um, blood sugar all right this is not so serious it's kind of fun in a way in the vitreous if you remember that gel in the middle of the eye there are these uh, little protein clumps that create floaters now this is pretty extreme on the uh, right side uh, often it's just a little dark image that moves back and forth and there's nothing to be done about it and who cares it rarely in, in, interferes with vision but if you suddenly develop floaters like these and it's accompanied by a brief flash of light then that can be retinal detachment and that's a serious condition that needs to be treated right away all right so if we look at this disorders again you, you, you might remember here's the cataracts happening in the lens okay back here is the macula lutea where we might have macular degeneration glaucoma is happening in the in the whole vitreous because of the trabeculae here and we have some issues as well up front that I didn't talk about such as dry eye there you have it